Okay, welcome back to the final, or maybe not the final, uh, may add some in the future, but this next section is going to go over water. So, water, another one of the top priorities that I put ahead of nutrition and working out in terms of getting the results. So, sleep, stress, water, nutrition, working out. You have those five spokes, or five, five things in the water. You're going to get the results that you need, and you just keep optimizing, optimizing until you reach your goal and reach the body that you want. Okay, so water is essential, uh, just like cholesterol and fat. The three things in every single one of our cells is water, fat, and cholesterol. Okay. So very, very important. Uh, we can go weeks, days, months without food, but water, we would die within under a week. Okay, so very, very important, essential. Uh, there's, I'm sure you've heard of it, but eight glasses a day is what they recommend, but that's uh, kind of 1990s information. Uh, the new information is drink half your body weight in ounces and the more you drink, the better. Okay, uh, without going overboard. Um, I am. I currently weigh 175 to 180 pounds. I routinely try to get 100 ounces of water a day. So, if you are a drinker of coffee, energy drinks, tea, cola, shouldn't be. Uh, but any kind of caffeine that's going to dehydrate the body, uh, for every ounce that you drink of that, you're going to have to drink an additional two ounces of water. Okay, so say you're 100 pounds or 200 pounds, that means you would need to drink regularly 100 ounces of water. But then say you drink three cups of coffee, so 24 ounces of water or 24 ounces of coffee, your total amount of water would need to be 148 ounces for the day. Okay, The water needs to be filtered and it needs to be filtered out with uh, the most important things to filter out are the fluoride and the chlorine. So those are the things that are going to get you and destroy you and add some severe toxins to your body. Alright, so the Brita filter is not going to take out fluoride. I'm not sure if it does chlorine but the one I use is a clearly filtered water pitcher it takes out fluoride and all the other crap uh, bromide lead all the stuff okay I'll put a link down to the clearly filtered uh, that is my affiliate link so if you want to use that uh, go ahead and use that but if you're going to get a filter just make sure it takes out the fluoride okay because uh, not too many of them do and the reason why we get want to get rid of the fluoride is because it will take, it will basically calcify the pineal gland, which is the primary source of releasing melatonin. So melatonin, it, of course, is the helps you get into that deep REM sleep. And if you're drink, taking in fluoride, fluoridated water, it's not going to happen, and you're not going to get that recovery from that sleep. Alright, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you have questions on anything on the water, let me know. And I guess final slide we must do. So knowing is not enough, we must apply. Willing is not enough, we must do. Okay, so all the information that I presented is just that. It's information, but it's what you do with the information that matters most. So if you just sit on the information and don't do anything about it, then you're not going to get the results that you want. Okay? One thing at a time, one thing at a time, one thing at a time, one thing at a time. Alright? That is your focus. Alright? Don't try and add 17 different things and expect to change them all. Alright? One thing at a time, implement as a habit, then move on to the next thing. All right. Again, your success session, highly recommend. Schedule it after your first workout with me, 
and we'll get you going. We'll set the goals that you need to set to get you to the body that you need. All right. I'll see you in class or at the success session. Till then, stay strong, stay positive, be the improvement warrior.